Hello students, we are going to discuss about cell organelles. In that, we are going to see a types of cell organelle which is present in plant cell as well as animal cell. Why cell need organelle? Because the organelles are specialized in function and it acts as a container that separates the parts of the cell from other parts. And it also acts site for chemical reaction, example chloroplast and mitochondria. The cellular components are called cell organelle. These cell organelles are membrane bound present within the cell and are distinct in their structure and function. They coordinate with their function efficiently for the normal functioning of the cell. Few of them functions provide shape and support whereas some are involved in locomotion and reproduction of a cell. So the cell organelles does various functions. There are various organelles present within the cell and are classified into three categories. So the organelles without membrane and single membrane and double membrane. So based on the outer membrane, inner membrane, okay. So these are categorized into three types. So the first classification with organelles without membrane. The cell wall, ribosome and cytoskeleton or membrane bound cell membranes okay that is cell organelles so they are present both in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell single membrane bound organelle that is the cell organelle which is made up of one membrane vacuole lysosome golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum or single membrane bound organelles present only in eukaryotic cell and next we go on, move on to double membrane bound organelle the mitochondria and chloroplast or double membrane bound organelle present only in eukaryotic cell. The basic structure of cell consists of nucleus, plasma membrane and cytoplasm. So this we uh, discussed in a previous class itself. Today we are going to study other different structures like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, lysosome, mitochondria, plastid and vacuoles are also present in the cells. All of these are cell organelle. Presence of different cell organelles different from organism to organism. Okay. So based on the cell organelles, based on the cell like the plant cell and animal cell, the organelles also may be differ. That is the unicellular or multicellular organism too. Cell organelle can be either membrane bound or can lack membrane. So here you can see some of the cell organelle in the present in the plant cell. So here you can see nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, mitochondria, vacuole, cytoplasm, Golgi body and plastid. Now we move on to endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a large organelle made of membranous sheet and tubules that begin near the nucleus and extend across the cell. So it starts with the nuclear membrane. Okay, it's attached with the nuclear membrane. And the endoplasmic reticulum creates packages and secretes many of the product created by a cell. So this will be the diagrammatic view of endoplasmic reticulum. Here you can see that endoplasmic reticulum is attached in the nucleus outer membrane. So uh, next to the endoplasmic reticulum, there is Golgi apparatus, the another organelle also present in it. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membranous canals filled with fluid. They are the transport system of the cell, involved in transporting material throughout the cell. There are two different types of endoplasmic reticulum, are rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So there will be the difference like when the endoplasmic reticulum which there is a presence of ribosome that is rough endoplasmic reticulum and rough in nature. Whereas smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a lack of ribosomes because it smooths in nature. So first we see about rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are composed of cisternae, tubule and vesicle which are found throughout the cell and are involved with protein manufacture. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they are the storage organelle associated with the production of lipid, steroid and also responsible for detoxifying the cell. 
so here you can see the rough endoplasmic reticulum where which has a ribosome in it and smooth endoplasmic reticulum here you can see there is no ribosome on its surface so the function of a rough endoplasmic reticulum modify protein that it will be shipped to other location in the endomembrane system the cell surface or outside the cell in smooth endoplasmic reticulum the functions are synthesize lipid such as fatty acid phospholipid and steroid and it also detoxifies molecules such as alcohol drug and metabolic waste products they are also remove harmful drugs and poison from the cell the protein and lipid formed at endoplasmic reticulum is used in construction of plasma membrane so this process is known as membrane biogenesis so these are about endoplasmic reticulum next we proceed with golgi body or golgi apparatus in animal cell we call the golgi body will be like dictyosomes golgi apparatus appears as flattened sac like structure arranged parallelly one above the other called cistern the cistern or membrane bound vesicle that keep material inside the golgi apparatus separated from outside cytoplasm this cell organelle package and process material that is the protein and lipid in and out of the cell the golgi apparatus converts a simple sugar into a complex sugar it also forms lysosomes so here you can see the golgi apparatus the uh, membrane bound cistern you can see okay so there will be the transport vesicle where we uh, we can transport the molecules that is the simple molecules into complex molecules next is lysosomes lysosomes are membrane bound spherical shaped structure filled with digestive enzyme that are manufactured by rough endoplasmic reticulum this cell organelle digest waste by breaking it into small pieces and keeps cell clean if cells get damaged it digests its own cell so hence lysosomes is also known as suicidal bag here you can see the structure of lysosomes the lysosomes is made up of hydrolytic enzymes next we move on to mitochondria so mitochondria is made up of inner and outer membrane the outer membrane separates the internal part of a mitochondria from other cell organelles whereas the inner membrane has folded structure called cristae mitochondria contains fluid called matrix containing dna of mitochondria ribosomes etc so this cell organelles is also called as a power house of the cell because it uh, like it produces the power to the cell and it acts as a energy booster also it stores energy in the form of atp okay i repeat atp adenosine triphosphate molecule these are generated on the fold of inner membrane so the energy stored in the cell organelle is used during chemical activities or while performing mechanical work mitochondria can generate protein due to the presence of ribosomes here you can see the structure of mitochondria so the outer membrane and inner membrane in inner membrane you can see the cristae okay and there will be like a matrix which is present inside the inner membrane next we move on to vacuole vacuole is another type of cell organelle which is present in plant cell and you can see the plant cell which occupies a more space by vacuole this cell organelle stores solid or liquid material in plant vacuole or large taking minimum maximum part of a plant cell whereas in animal cell vacuoles are small and it maintains a minimum part in plant vacuole stores material like amino acid sugar protein etc turgidity of cell is due to vacuole in unicellular organism vacuole remove excess of water and waste material out of the cell and it also stores the food plastid this cell organelle is present only in plant cell so appears like mitochondria it looks like a mitochondria plastids are made up of a large number of layer fixed in a material called stroma it contains its own dna and ribosome here plastid plays a major role in plant cell because the plants which is red color or white color or green color the pigmentation which is given by the cell organelle called plastid 
Plastid are of two type chromoplast that is colored plastid and leucoplast that is white plastid. Plastid manufacture and store food in plants. So we study about the type of plastid. One of the type is chloroplast. So here the chloro it means chlorophyll pigment which is green color. So chloroplast or double membrane bound organelle which usually vary in the shape. From disc shape to spherical, discoid, oval and ribbon. They are present in mesophyll cells of leaf which store chloroplast and other carotenoid pigments. Here you can see the diagrammatic view of chloroplast. These pigments are responsible for trapping light energy for photosynthesis. The inner membrane encloses space called stroma. These pigments are responsible for trapping light energy for photosynthesis. The inner membrane encloses space called stroma. Flattened disc like chlorophyll containing structure known as thylakoid or arranged in a stacked manner like a pile of coin. Each pile is called as granum that is the plural is grana and the thylakoid of different grana are connected by a flat membranous tubule known as stromal lamella. Just like the mitochondrial matrix, the stroma of chloroplast also contains a double stranded circular DNA that is 70S ribosome, an enzyme which required for the synthesis of carbohydrate and protein. So now here you can see the inner membrane and outer membrane of the chloroplast. Okay, so here you can see the stroma, granum and thylakoid where we discussed now. Chromoplast. So chromo which is colored. Okay, it gives a pigment. The chromoplast includes fat soluble carotenoid pigment like xanthophyll, carotene etc. Why the tomato looks red? Because of the chromoplast present in it. Which provide the plant with a characteristic color yellow, orange, red etc. Leucoplast is leco the colorless. Leucoplast or colorless plastid which store nutrient. Amyloplast or the example where amyloplast stores carbohydrate like starch in potatoes. A leuroplast store proteins and alloplast stores oil and fats. So these all about the plastid. Thank you.